Ms. Hurst, if you could just remain here for just a moment. Thank you. All right. So, Ms. Hurst, um, there are a lot of there's a lot of medical uh, experts in this case, okay. and you're not one of them. It's true. And so, um, we want to be careful that your testimony limits itself to what you observed. Okay. And maybe opinions that you. Uh, formed based on those observations. Okay. But what we don't want you to testify to is a medical diagnosis of Jenny, mm -hmm. um, a, a mental health diagnosis of Jenny, or I guess describe her, uh, describe what you've seen with her in terms of a medical diagnosis or medical terminology. Does that make sense? We don't want that last one. Is that what you just said? Uh, I think I'm a little yes, confused. Yes, we do not. We do not. We do not want you to be explaining what you've observed with Jenny in terms of a mental health diagnosis. Like a person with this mental health diagnosis is. I mean, I see Jenny doing these things that are like a person with this mental diagnosis. Okay. But okay. rather, just what did you see? Okay. What do you notice about her? Okay. Well, what what have you observed? Mm -hmm. And and what um, and you're certainly. I mean. Is the word was the key word that you didn't want to hear was the neurodiversity? I think that probably triggered okay. triggered the concern because that's more of a medical terminology. I'm not sure. Okay, it, it doesn't sound like an everyday observation, though. You're right. So, okay, I understand. I mean, I could I could say I could see you translating. I mean, if you made an observation about uh, about Jenny. Mm -hmm. And you're using that term to describe that observation. I could see you translating that into everyday words. Okay. As to what you saw and what you observed. Okay. But in terms of using um, a medical-sounding name, I guess, or label. Okay. Uh, that's what we're. That's what we need you to avoid. Okay. Is counsel, okay with uh, that instruction? Yes, and I just want to make one other statement that's separate from this. Just a minute, then. Thanks. Well, I don't want to conflate the two. Are you okay with that instruction to the witness? Yes. yes. Okay. Your Honor, Ms. we're Bowens. making copies. My staff has advised me that somehow with the help of a... I'm not even going to misspeak, except someone has accessed that link that we've been trying to get. Well, right. I'm, I'm going to hand out copies. Why don't, we, why don't we do this in chambers? And if you need to put something on the record, we can do that after that. Sure, and I'm not even prepared to. I've just been advised that that link has been accessed. Not a GoPro link, but the the, the actual link. It's just that this witness is under the exclusionary rule, and I'd rather not discuss it in front of this witness. Fair enough. Okay. Should we meet at, when do you want to meet? One fifteen. would that be enough time? Sure, in chambers. Yeah. Let's start in chambers. And if you could make me a copy. Yeah, we're making some copies. I just got handed it. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. And thank you. You're welcome to go take lunch or whatever, but you're still under the exclusionary rule as a witness not to discuss the case with other witnesses uh, or anybody. Thank you. Thank you so much.